Welcome to Eye on Politics, ionpolitics.org. I'm John Sedgley. Today I'm going to be meeting with the South London mayoral candidate, Wolfgang Moneypenny. I'm hoping to gain an insight into this somewhat reclusive candidate's policies. Wolfgang. Tony. John. Hello. Hello, Treacle. Come on in. Yeah? Quick. Afternoon. Oh, and it's an absolute pleasure to invite you into my humble home. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward very much to being interviewed by you. Take a seat, Derek. Okay. Take a seat. Thank Take you. a Thank seat. You. Ah. Perhaps you'd like to ask me questions. I would. Um, I had some questions prepared, but I think it appropriate that I start with the cod piece. It is a cod piece. It's very unusual. You don't see many of those around these days, and um, it seems you've made some alterations to your one. You've got a button on that. Don't touch that button! Do not ever touch another man's cod piece. Cut! 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 Well, he's got a bit of a reputation for being aggressive. Wolfgang, um... What are the cats called? Uh, that little one over there is uh, Sebastian. And this one, uh, Michael Barrymore. Michael Barrymore. Oh, um, yeah. unusual choice. Get through a hotspot. For naming your, uh, your cats. Barrymore. Barrymore. He only gets this shit because he's a South Londoner. If you, if you knew what I knew about Eamon Holmes, you'd know how in, there's a vicious inequality in the way drug abusing presenters are treated. But Michael Barrymore quite famously uh, was involved in a... Wasn't proven in court. But there was an incident in which a young man died. Look, we've all been to parties where things have got a little bit out of hand. Well, I've never quite that out of hand. I think most people have. Wolfgang, what do you plan to change about London, specifically South London? Mere, mere detail. Do you want some lunch? Some um, tea, perhaps? Some tea would be lovely. All right, yeah. Where's the fucking tea? Wolfgang, what would you say to your opponents, the ones that have branded you as a thug, who would ruin London? Oh, that's the point. I'm running to ruin London. London needs to be broken apart into smaller parts. It's an engine of inequality. But you, go, having gone to public school, will probably know all about that. I, I did go to public school, but to what end do you hope to ruin London? Break it up into personal fiefdoms. Personal fiefdoms? Yes. But why? Do you not understand English? I'm going to break London up, and there's nothing you can do about it. Would it Except for maybe voting for one of the other idiots. I know what you're thinking right now. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why does he always wear his sunglasses? What's he trying to hide? You want to see my eyes? You want to see my eyes? The difference between me and the journalist class is I have respect and you have nothing but numbers in your head. Numbers. Numbers are important, Wolfgang. Um, Don't you go asking me about my economic policies. We all know why the mayors have entered this race. 19 billion pounds, Brian. 19 billion pounds. What do you propose to spend the mayoral budget on? I mean, you've not released any figures. I, I have released ideas. See, journalists. Brains full of numbers. I've released ideas. I've got a heart and I feel emotion. Did I not teach you that at public school, boy? Look, Jeffrey, I like you. I really like you. And I would hate for anything to happen to you. Kettle's nearly boiled.
Wolfgang, um, you have a signed photograph of Enya on your fridge. Yeah. Is there Do a I? story behind that, perhaps? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Enya is my cousin. Oh. You know that song, Sail Away, Sail Away? Yeah. She wrote that about me, about the time I sailed to the Maldives. You sailed to the Maldives? What? Eh? Well, <sighs> you just said you sailed to the Maldives. You've been drinking, Tony. I, I haven't... I, I, no. You've come across as being rather anti-monarchy. What would be your stance on the royal family if you were elected mayor? Well, Malcolm, it's not within the remit of the uh, mayor to change the UK constitution. But I'm sure the Queen will realise that a London that votes money penny will not be a safe place for her to live. And once she's scarpered, six months down the line, my new progressive squatting legislation will kick in. And Buckingham Palace will be a vegan community centre. Where do you propose the royal family go to? Not in London. Just Sli anywhere outside of London? That Look, would be fine with you. The people, the people who I represent will not be happy until Lizzie's signing on and working for free in any old Tesco or Asda. Wolfgang, you infamously failed to invite any of the mainstream media to your uh, electoral campaign. Indeed, and thank you very much. I don't understand. Why would I want them there? Well, aren't you in danger of uh, not allowing your electorate to know who you are? Look, the people have willed me to run. I am running for them. I am a man. The cod piece, Charlie, represents the dreams and hopes of all South London. No. You ask anyone on the street. I, this I, cod piece means something to people. I don't see anybody on the street wearing a cod piece. You don't see anyone on the street in South London because you never come here. Because people like you are scared you're going to get stabbed to death or gang raped. Well, that's not necessarily true, but... Yeah, I think it is. No, I think it is. And I don't think you've got any proof otherwise. Bear that in mind and ask me nicer questions. I've come here today to interview It comes you. down to the respect issue again, doesn't it? Wolfgang. Before you re-entered politics, you were involved in a nightclub, a strip club in fact, called Schrodinger's in Catford. Um, do you not feel that what happened there could affect your relationship with your female voters? On the contrary, Brian. I think it shows I'm willing to make tough and difficult decisions if it's in the long-term interests of London. But some of these girls nearly died. Nearly, nearly is an emotive word, Trevor. You don't Wolfgang, um, yeah. would you like to talk to me about who these people are? Family? Friends? They're local plumbers. Local plumbers? Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. And They're fans of mine. But you... I'm big amongst the plumbers. But the fans of yours, but yet you are the one that has a picture of them in, your, not... in your home. Yeah. I don't like this whole top-down, hero-worshipping thing. I think my, my fans, my voters, all of you watching at home, you're all heroes to me. Heroes. Heroes. You're heroes to How long have you lived here, Wolfgang? <sighs> all my life. I was born in this very room. But these, these apartments are only 15 years old. <laughs> That's very kind of you, but I assure you, I'm considerably older than that. Well, look, I'll tell you the truth. I was born of the shopping centre, the Elephant Castle shopping centre. I'm not of woman, I'm not of man. The shopping centre itself brought me into existence. You are the child of Elephant and Castle shopping centre? I am the child of Elephant and Castle shopping centre. I'm not sure I follow you, Wolfgang. Are you suggesting... I you... was born of, not in, but of, the Elephant and Castle shopping centre. Nice. No matter how many varying answers I give you, you don't seem to want to believe any of them. 
What's wrong with you? I'm trying hard to understand what... I... am a man. Yes. Are you a man? Wolfgang, many commentators have dismissed your campaign as nothing more than a stunt. What would you say to that? Look, there's a lot of independents running on the list this year. Unfortunately, a lot of time wasters. But let me ask you this. I invite you into my home, into my humble abode, just for you to ask shit like that. I thought we were having a good time, Brian. I thought you and me having a good afternoon together, okay. yeah? This is having a good afternoon together. This, you and me, this is a bit heart much. to heart, man Wolfgang. to man. Wolfgang, you're scaring me. Having a good time. Wolfgang, stop. Yeah. <laughs> having a stop good time. Wolfgang. Having a good time. Oh, he keeps telling me to relax. And he does stuff like that. He's been banging on the walls like some kind of deranged ape. He's worse than Boris. So 19 billion pounds, probably invested, you get a four times increase. It's incredible. In investing? No, no, no. It's, this isn't an interview, it's a politician, no. It's an offer. I can't believe how well he's doing the opinion polls. He's going to get thousands of votes. Oh my fucking god! Fucking hell! Fuck! Wolfgang! Jesus! Fuck. Are you okay? Fucking hell! What's going on? Fuck what it! What have you done? It just came away in my fucking hands! Jesus! It's unbelievable! Oh my god! Unbelievable! <sighs> Wolfgang, tell me, um, how do you propose to fund your electoral campaign? That's a very good question, Sarah, and uh, I'm looking forward to answering it. And then... oh, oh, oh. Who the hell are you? What the fuck is going on? Who are these people? Um, do I John, John, nice cup of tea. Uh, friends of yours? Oh, no! <laughs> no! 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 I can explain everything. I can explain everything. None of you are from South London. None of you are even from the whole of London. You couldn't possibly understand. It's a South London thing. But let me try to explain simply. Just let me put a bit of this and a bit of that in my ears. Three, two, one! <laughs> So there we have it. Will London vote for money, Penny? We shall see. For a copy of today's programme, go to ionpolitics.org forward slash money, Penny. I'm John Sedgley. Get out! Just leave! I think we'd better go.